Hi, in this video I'll show you how to get a table from web pages. Let's say for example we are on a web page and we see a table that we want to pull into Excel. So for example we have these, these tables here on Wikipedia and we want to pull one of these tables in from Excel. Now we can use Power Query to do that and also do some transformation on that. And uh, the way that we do that is let's copy, Control C to copy that particular URL first and then go into Power Query, go under Data, go under New Query uh, from other sources and from the web. And in the uh, dialog window, all we need to do is paste that URL as it's coming up. Now, all we need to do is Control V to paste. It's going to go to that web page and bring in the page along with its associated tables. Now there's a couple views that we can see here. There's going to be several tables down here. If I click on table one here, you'll see that you have a preview, table two, table three. Now if there's no name for the table, it's just going to give it a generic table and the number name, right? And this makes it kind of a little bit difficult sometimes if we don't know what uh, specifically the table it's referencing. And it's why it's kind of nice that it has this web view so you can see the web version of it. So if I click on the web view, you can see that it shows up. Let's make this a little bit bigger so it's a little easier to see, right? So if we scroll down this particular table here, let's go to the right here. You can see that we have our different tables, right? Table one, table two, table three. And it's a little, also a little bit hard to see uh, which table is associated from here to this table. Now let's uh, see if we can click X here. Let's see if we can click in here to have it associate with the table. No, it doesn't, right? So here you're gonna have to kind of do a little bit of um, guessing. So if we click on table one, you'll notice that we've got our figures here. We got 105, 803, table two has 104, 103, and ta uh, table two, I mean table three has 168, 104. So if we go to the web view, so we're here in web view and we know that the 10503 is table one, 10, the 104, 103 is table two, and table three is 168, right? So that can kind of help us. So let's say, for example, I just want a table three. I can click on that and click edit and it's going to bring that in into the query editor, the Power Query editor. And I can do some additional transformation. It says this preview movie 2 is old, maybe I'll refresh it and let it refresh. And if I just wanted to get like the top 10, do some transformation, maybe I can add a column here and use an index column uh, from one, because right here the rank is basically saying it's rank, this is the first rank, second rank, third rank, and that rank is tied with uh, Bermuda and Luxembourg maybe. And I've just wanted to rank it and not have those dashes. I can create a column here to do that. And let's delete this. Right click and remove. And maybe here I'll just say transform. Oops, go to home. And I want to keep only the first uh, 10 rows, top 10, right? And the window comes up, we'll put in 10, click OK, and we can close and load and get our top 10 GDP numbers for this particular set. So this is how we can pull in some tables from a web page. Now there's many tables that are out there, so uh, you kind of have to be a little judicious on what you bring in. You can bring in multiple tables, of course, but in this instance, we only brought in one table. And that's the way that you can do that. So here's the example of how you can bring in tables from a web page using Power Query. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.